When we think about the harp, we think about glissandos. It's what the harp is known for um, to most people. When they think harp, they think of angels, glissandos, and heaven. <laughs> um, glissandos are beautiful and they are something that the harp is um, most known for. That and big um, arpeggiated things um, as well as um, rolled chords. So today I wanted to go over the glissando. Um, it's such a fun thing <laughs> and it's one of the first things that I teach my beginning students because it makes them feel so advanced. It's this glorious sound but it's really really simple simple to do it um, as long as you know the right technique. And the technique is fairly simple. There's just a few things you want to be aware of. Um, and I'm going to explain this to you today. So when we play a glissando, if the glissando is going up the scale, up the harp, it's played with the right hand, generally. Um, sometimes people break the rules, but they normally always stay the same. Um, so you come up with your right hand, and some of the keys to successful glissandos is keeping your keeping that rounded hand position so that way um, you're able to get at a good angle of the string versus this way, if you're going this way, you're not really going to get a whole lot of um, pressure on the string, so it's not going to get a very good sound because you want to hear all the, all the strings, every single one, and you want to hear it very nice and clearly. Because if you go flat, um, when you go up with your right hand, it's not very loud, and, and there might be there might be certain techniques in certain music that we want that sound, but that's generally not very prevalent. Um, what people normally want is to hear that big, glorious glisten, normally sometimes in an orchestra. So you want to keep that palm rounded, and you want to keep that second finger bent. We go up with the second finger. When we're doing um, a one note uh, glissando, we come up with the second finger, come down with the thumb, up with the second finger, down with the thumb. So um, I'm going to start on this lower C here and curve that. Keep your palm as much opposite. You are going to bring your position a little more this way, not so much like this, because then it's too hard to slide and it's really stilty. So um, it is a little bit different if you, versus you placing a, like a chord on the harp um, in that it is a little bit leans more, a little bit back, just so you can go to the next string, um, but not completely flat and straight like that. So keep uh, at a good angle. Keep your thumb up for, it's just mostly for balance, and then just bring it up the strings. Um, so what I was doing there is bringing my finger over every single string, but at a faster pace. And while I'm doing that, I'm constantly bringing my elbow back in a straight line, like I'm pulling a bow and arrow back. That's a great um, example and picture for glissandos is think about pulling the bow and arrow back. Keep that elbow straight so that way as you're going up the strings of the harp, you're always staying in the middle of the strings. Because if I went down, if I was up here but then I didn't continue to pull it back, I would look where I ran into, I ran into the soundboard. So, and I'd be slowly going lower because as as the harp strings get shorter, the middle and, and longer, the middle is at a different um, length, a different point of the string because of the string length changes. So keep the elbow up. Think about pulling bow and arrow. So that's how you go up the harp with a glissando. And let me show you how you go down. So going down is. It's the same thing, you're going to keep a rounded hand position, and that just kind of helps with creating just a little bit of stiffness to the hand, so that way it can come with that clear articulated glist. And you're going to come down with your thumb, so curved a little bit, so not flat, because flat is not going to get you very good to clean sound. So curve a little bit, and then... And you just kind of keep those fingers loose like this, so coming up and then going down looks like this. Up, down, up, down. So that's kind of 
the basics of glisses on the harp, and there's different kinds of glisses. That's a single finger gliss. Um, sometimes we have double finger glisses, and um, when we do that, um, like a thirds gliss, you would use two and three. And um, but generally, the most popular gliss on the harp is just a single finger gliss, especially for those uh, showy pieces and orchestra things. Um, so play around with the gliss. Start on a different string each time. Start on start on C and just and just. Just practice coming up and down the harp and making it one fluid sound.